The following podcast is a deep, shallow dive production. Okay, let's go. Hey, everybody. I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. Happy Monday to you. Hey, listen, I'm going to do two things today. One was my original plan, and then the second is what I'm going to do right now, and that is to say, you know, obviously there was a tremendous amount of news this weekend about the invasion of Israel, and so I'm not going to spend today talking about it because, to be honest with you, I really am trying to gather a lot of sources and opinions and angles to this thing and not really just be reactionary like everybody else is being, but I really want to try and kind of see what plays out a little bit and then also try and, you know, again, gather gather the right type of data from a variety of sources so I can kind of actually not even kind of really look at this thing as a deep, shallow dive and try and make sense of it. You know, the one thing I will say regardless is whatever situation it is, you know, it's always the people that suffer. And so my heart goes out to all the people in Israel, all the people in the West Bank and Gaza, the Palestinians that are there, because at the end of the day, the innocent people, they really have nothing to do with any of this. So, you know, I did want to talk about that for a second. And I did want to, you know, address it uh, without really spending the entire episode talking about it. And the one thing I will say, you know, I had a, had a lot of people call me over the weekend and say, oh my God, are you watching this? What do you think? What do you think? And, you know, for now, and then a lot of people were talking about like connecting the dots with, if you remember or, or two weeks ago, actually, gosh, it was on 9-11, believe it or not. On 9-11, the Biden organization, the Biden administration released a $6 billion amount of money that was being held that belonged to Iran. And so they released it to Iran. And Iran is linked to Hamas, which is the organization that took responsibility for the invasion of Israel. And so pretty much everyone was like, oh, look, connect the dots, you know, money goes to Iran, Iran funds Hamas. And so, and then two weeks later, they're, you know, they're in, they're empowering Hamas to invade Israel. And what I'm going to say about that right now, before again, I mean, I really want to research this because I want to have an intelligent take on this. But what I will say is when the dots are that easy to connect, they're probably not the right dots. Okay. Let me say that again. When the dots are literally that easy to connect, I mean, do you really think those are the correct dots? You know, this is episode number 33. And for those of you that have listened to the previous 32 or any, to be honest, you know, this stuff is not simple. Geopolitics is not simple. And again, for today, if the dots were that easy to connect, do you really think those are the real dots? So give that some thought and then we'll come back to this. Okay. So what I do want to do today is, and I think this will fall under a 712 episode because it's not that long, but it's actually incredibly interesting and it involves another Ohio guy. And this time it's not Travis Kelsey dating Taylor Swift, but it's a guy named Stanley Myers. And if you are friends with me on Facebook, you might remember I talked about this a while back. But so Stanley Myers invented a car that would run on water. And so obviously a car that would run on water. I mean, that sounds amazing, right? Incredible. But it's a huge threat to the oil industry, and it's a huge threat to all the companies like Chevron, Shell, all the gas companies, and quite frankly, all of the Middle Eastern countries as well, the countries that supply oil, anyone that's involved in the process of oil, which is a lot of people and a lot of businesses. So a car that would run on water is amazing. But uh, actually, here's a funny line. It makes a lot of sense, but it doesn't make a lot of dollars. Actually, I love that quote. It, somebody used it to describe like good health. 
They said, good health makes a lot of sense, but it doesn't make a lot of dollars. Anyway, long story short on Stanley, actually give this a listen and we'll delve into it. What if this man was murdered for inventing a car that ran on water? Do you remember there was a video that was uh, circulating many years ago about a guy who created a car to run on water? I don't care if you use rainwater, well water, city water, ocean water. If you don't have any fresh water, go ahead and use snow. If you don't have any snow available to you, then use salt water because there's no adverse effect to the fuel cell. Inventor Stanley Allen Mayer claimed he had invented a water fuel cell for use on cars. In theory, eliminating the need for gasoline and providing a clean and free energy source for automobiles. All right, so let's stop there a second. Uh, The second person in that was Joe Rogan. You know, Joe Rogan, anybody that gives Joe Rogan a bad or a hard time probably has never listened to Joe Rogan. He literally has tackled so many common sense, good topics. He really has. And if you're somebody right now shaking your head, being like, oh my God, Ray, I can't believe you said that. You've never listened to him. I guarantee I guarantee you, you've never listened to him. And if you like, he gets labeled like a conservative MAGA guy, but he's not even a Republican. I mean, I think, I actually think he is kind of a libertarian or at least, I mean, he's definitely more on the Democrat side. I know he's a big fan of Robert F. Kennedy Jr., who, by the way, is dropping a major announcement today And I am pretty sure that announcement is going to be that he is running as an independent. Actually, I'm practically positive that's what it's going to be. And personally, I don't I don't think that's going to work. But he also had no choice because he literally was going to get nowhere in the Democratic Party, even if the nominee ends up not being Biden. There is zero chance that. RFK Jr. is going to get any love from the Democratic Party. So I'm pretty sure he's announcing that he's running independent today. I know he's got a big announcement in Philadelphia, and I would bet that's what it's going to be. So anyway, if you haven't listened to Joe Rogan, I recommend you do. The guy's good. He is. He's really good. Okay. And then you also heard Stanley Meyer himself in that clip. So he really did. This guy invented a car that functioned on water. I mean, pretty incredible. So now let's see where the story goes. Let's see the plot twist. And you might be able to already guess it. He demonstrated his device on an Ohio news station using a dune buggy fitted with his invention, stating that only 22 gallons of water would be required to travel from Los Angeles to New York. However, that was when things took a turn for the worst. On March 21st, 1998, Stanley and his brother were at a restaurant with two potential foreign investors. Mayor allegedly leapt up after taking a sip from his drink, running out of the restaurant screaming, they poisoned me, grasping at his throat before collapsing on the ground and dying in the parking lot. Well, I'm sure some of you might have guessed that, but literally that was what happened. First of all, he wasn't able to get any type of investors here in the United States, nor was he able to, you know, partner up with the big three. At that time, it was the big three out of Detroit, Ford, GM and Chrysler. So he really couldn't get, he couldn't get this project off the ground, which is crazy if you think about it. And so he ended up having a meeting set for him with these quote unquote foreign investors and literally died. He died at that meeting after taking a sip of his cranberry juice. He would have changed the world if he had been given an opportunity. But with all we've talked about, about about the power of oil, of course he wasn't given that opportunity. All right. So now listen to this next plot twist. One week later, his garage was broken into and his car was stolen, never to be seen again. All right. So they broke in his garage and stole the car. You know, this totally gave me a flashback to John F. Kennedy and how his brain was stolen, which I still, honestly, I still cannot get over the lack of awareness or knowledge and the fact that I didn't know that or Quite frankly, very few people, actually, my cousin, who is a very smart guy, Mike Maziar Dustar, he actually said he knew it. So, hey, I guess my cousin was smarter than me 
in that in that regard or probably many regards actually but he said he did know about JFK's brain being stolen but I did not and I don't think most people did and so when I heard this you know for Stanley Myers car and they broke into the garage and stole the dune buggy which was like his working prototype of the water car never to be found again I was like oh my god that that definitely sounds right Okay, so let's finish out on this. Give this a listen. Officially, his death was ruled as a brain aneurysm. But were more sinister forces at work here? But many believe that the people who ran the oil and gas industry was responsible for his death. I mean, there you have it. There you have it. I just... I, I can't even see any other way. Okay, so this was not a very well-known story, but I find it a fascinating story. And it really does tie into so many of the themes and so many of the concepts that we've talked about in terms of the power of, you know, oil in this world and the power and, and really the importance of oil. I've got a lot more to talk about with this. Obviously this week, I'll definitely get into the situation between Israel and Hamas, and we're going to call a spade a spade on everything. And then I'm going to leave you with a little more from Stanley, and then that'll be it for today. Okay, now this is the uh, the the computer system, which was designed uh, in order to be able to process the fuel, to produce the hydrogen gas from water and do it economically and be able to control its firing, going to the engine to allow the the Volkswagen engine to run uh, off of uh, hydrogen. This episode was brought to you by Boost Liquid Vitamins. Wake up, take your boost, start your day. Drink your vitamins, build your immune system with Boost. Available on Boost.com.